Hello, hello everyone. My name is Jeff. This is the first episode of the Rocket Fuel Crypto series. And this is where we start with the basics before you can do all the trading, the purchasing of ICOs, the mining, anything that has anything to do with cryptocurrencies. This is the first episode. You should know everything about the basics, about what is blockchain, what is Bitcoin, what is Ethereum, why are they important to the whole ecosystem. So let's begin. I want to try to be fast, I want to try to be efficient. So let's talk about blockchain. So what the heck is blockchain? Right now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the, the concept of a wallet. So I'm going to draw a few wallets out here. Let's draw some circles over here. These are going to represent people, people A, B, C. And this guy has eight Bitcoin, let's say two Bitcoin and three Bitcoin. And again, we're not going to talk about US dollar. We're just going to talk about Bitcoin for now. Bitcoin right now is just a number that sits in these people's wallets. And the only way to get Bitcoin right now is from mining, which we'll talk about in a later episode. Uh, we'll mention it again later actually here. And also just getting Bitcoin sent to you. And that includes if you buy off an exchange. When you buy an exchange, you're trading USD and it gets sent to you into your wallet. And now let's draw a picture, a stick figure. This is you, you have a wallet and you want to get Bitcoin. Now there's two things you should know about the wallet, the private key and the public key. So the public key is what everyone can see. Uh, they can actually see all the transactions that have ever been made just given the public key. And this would make, so if you give A your public key, this guy can send you, let's say one Bitcoin. So now you have one Bitcoin, this becomes seven. All right, the other thing you gotta know about is the private key. And then this private key actually can generate the public key, but this is something you never ever give away. So it's a very long string of text uh, with different, it can be numbers or text. Uh, there's some limiting characters, but it's a, it's a thing that you hide from everybody. And uh, given a later episode, or maybe this one, we'll talk about wallets, but the private key, you always keep safe. Now, given these two concepts of the wallet, now let's talk about what a transaction is. So basically, there's gonna be a history of A, sending you, this is you, A sending you one Bitcoin, okay? And let's say there's some other transactions going on. B sends C one Bitcoin, uh, C sends A uh, two Bitcoins, okay? So now we have B sending C and C sending A. And again, all we're talking about is a transaction of Bitcoins from wallet to wallet. So B sent one Bitcoin, C sent two, at the end of the day, C is gonna get plus one, minus two, C is gonna become two right now. Uh, B is gonna lose a Bitcoin, so it's gonna become one. All right, everyone with me so far? And basically what's gonna happen is, this is just gonna be captured in a block, all right? So this block is just a list of transactions for Bitcoin. All right, and let's change this to five. All right, so we have a list of transactions in this block, all right? That's all we have. And in fact, this block hasn't become official yet. So what we're gonna have is a bunch of servers, a bunch of hardware that are all competing to get that stamped as the official block, all right? So these transactions, the, let's just make them squiggly lines, are being collected by these various machines um, that are incentivized to get that block correct, okay? So they're all playing a game, a mathematical game, where they're gonna guess, let's say a number, one, two, three, then they get all these transactions, and then they say it's wrong, okay? Then they try again, they guess one, two, four, you know, whatever number they're doing. Meanwhile, you have um, these other ones doing the same thing. They're all competing to guess that random number to get it right. And the reason why they play this game is so that it's randomized as to who wins the reward. And right now the reward is 12.5 Bitcoin. That's equivalent to about $100,000 today in Bitcoin price. So if you get the right answer, you get $100,000, but it's very, very hard to get it. There's a lot of people with a lot of hardware and the more hardware you have, the more, um, powerful your, your mining setup is, 
uh, then you get more probability to get the mining reward. But, uh, and I just kind of gave it away, these things that are playing the game, they are called miners, all right? So they're collecting all the transactions, they're guessing the number, and then if they get it right, let's say this, this number was 53, okay? So two, miner two, gets the reward, all right? He gets the 12.5 Bitcoin, all right? And now, all these other nodes see that, okay? They see, oh, he got it right, let's check it, 53, all right. That's the correct one, that's the correct one, this is 53. So they don't get the they don't get the reward, okay? Only miner two gets a reward. But what happens is this becomes documented. This block of transactions gets documented as the official block, and it gets connected to the previous block, okay? Whatever transactions happen in there with its whatever random number, and then it keeps going. All right, and again, the, all these miners, they all keep a copy of the previous blocks as well. In fact, all these machines, and there are tens of thousands of these machines out there, all competing for this 12.5 Bitcoin uh, every 10 minutes about, and they all have a copy of every block that has ever been mined. So these, they have all these blocks, including this one, and now they're fighting for the next block. Now, when we look at this, you're going to see, you know, this goes on indefinitely or until the Genesis block, the very first block. These are all connected in a chain, okay? So this is why we call it blockchain. We have transactions that were given from your, you know, all these wallets that are out there. So all these wallets here, populated transactions in a block, they were mined, meaning somebody guessed the right answer for this block, and now it keeps going. The game just keeps going. There's going to be more transactions here. And then now these guys don't care about this block anymore. They start looking at these transactions now and they start playing this game. So if you see what happened here, there is a, like a, there's a ledger that has every transaction ever written. It's immutable. You cannot change the block once it's been written. If I change, if I'm one of these miners and I try to like, you know, change this to me, I'm sending it to D. This whole thing is not going to let. It's not going to go forward. It just won't work. Okay, so that's another concept, maybe in a future episode as well. But it's very, very hard. You cannot break this system. Um, you you just won't be accepted as a you know real transaction. Uh, so here we go. Let's move on to the next concept. So we've talked about wallets. We've talked about what a block is. We've talked about what the block chain is, which is a collection of these transactions. And that's all Bitcoin really is. It's a very long list of transactions that is copied on all these nodes. Thousands and thousands of these exist. And it just keeps going. People keep sending Bitcoin to each other. And we take a step back and we wonder, why is this important, right? Why, why do I care about blockchain? Now, if you look at this, there is no central authority governing this. There's nobody telling people like, stop it, you can't mine Bitcoin. Uh, let's, let's talk to the owner to shut it down, right? So let's say um, China bans Bitcoin, which they have recently, and they go over here and they shut down all these miners from operating. You still have all these other miners here, and then, you know, let's say these guys get killed off. Well, let's, let's not say killed off. Let's say they move their operation elsewhere, uh, let's say they move it to Canada, which is kind of what's happening. And you'll see, like, they'll just re-download the previous blocks and just keep mining. And then they'll just keep trying to guess the new number again. And this is not, mining for Bitcoin is not very profitable in the States, at least, because electricity is very high. So this is really a low electricity um, areas game. So basically, like, Russia, now Canada, China, not anymore. These places had low cost electricity. That's where a bunch of huge um, data centers were built to mine Bitcoin. All right. So that is the blockchain.